another strong field this year, and this course is year in, year out, one of the best on tour. You're bound to see some crazy scores, high and low, as there's always something wild going on. There's a lot of forced carries, a lot of dog legs, a lot of par fives. This is a course that really pays off in a risk reward manner for the tour players. So without further ado, here are my picks for this week. I will quickly mention that I hope you followed last week's picks because they worked out pretty well. Three in the top 25, two in the top 10, and the winner. Five of six made the cut, but I digress. Here we go. Wesley Bryan. Wesley has made four straight cuts with three top 10s this season, and his last three starts are a seventh, fourth, and fourth place finish. Graham Dillette. Graham Dillette has made five straight cuts with two top 10s this season, and his last three finishes are 22nd, 10th, and 17th. Tyrell Hatton. Tyrell is four for four on cuts made this year. He has three top 10s in his last three starts, a 10th, a 4th, and a 3rd. Charles Howell III. Howell has made six of six cuts this season with two top 10s. In his last three starts, he's finished 49th, 52nd, and 15th, as well as three straight top 50 finishes at Bay Hill. Zach Johnson. Zach has made three straight cuts with one top 10 this season, and his last two starts at Bay Hill have been a 5th and a ninth place finish. And Henrik Stenson. Henrik is 4 for 4 in cuts made this year with four top 10s. His last two starts have been a 7th and a 2nd, and his last three finishes at Bay Hill were a 3rd, a 2nd, and a 5th. 